Welcome to SiteMaster 2015, a software program for processing clinometers. We're really excited about SiteMaster 2015. Uh, it has many exciting new features, including importing DXF drawings. What we'll do, just to keep this short, we'll open up a sample project illustrating DXFs uh, and a lot of other capabilities. This project is actually available with your demo. So what we see is that the program first of all opens up two windows, a window with the main inclinometer data and a site plan where we can zoom in and so on. We'll close right now the site plan and we'll come back to it very shortly. Here we have a number of inclinometers available for this project. We can see their displacement versus time. We can see the cumulative displacements, select which inclinometer we're interested in, in each axis, rotated displacements, vector displacements with directions, the vector top displacements looking exactly how the inclinometer is displacing in X and Y for its reading, the last increment, time graphs, incremental, polar displacements, velocities, and we also have tables where we see the checksums on various readings and if there is a critical value indicating that there might be something that is going on wrong. The checksums for each of the readings and the vertical position of the inclinometer. We can also go edit on the inclinometer and apply various changes. Also select the cross section. We can see a base reading spiral corrections, transpose base, all <coughs> graphs for using custom displacement limits, options for additional casings, and also for the direction. If we didn't use a custom probe file, we can use Digitilt and Cardio, Geocon, ITM inclinometers, RST, Synco, SysGeo, OTR, and Technopenta. And you can also use a custom probe file where you let the program know exactly how to read the specified text file format. The program also has cross sections where we can define the elevations for excavating left and right as well as the water levels. We can define where different supports were installed and we can also specify the borehole layers, the soil layers with the elevation. If we click on the site plan, we can expand here. This is our DXF drawing. You can also import a, a JPEG image as your site plan, but the difference will be that uh, you will not be able to zoom in on the, J, in the JPEG image. But in the DXF image, you can control which layers. So here we can control if we want a specific layer to appear or not. We can also time track the displacements. And here on the right we can see, on the left we can see the excavation and the construction. We can change the scale of displacements. We can select a specific inclinometer. And now let's do this week so it's faster. But we can autoplay this and we'll see exactly how the displacement changes in each direction, X and Y, and the total displacement with time. We can zoom in, change to the specific to point, and so on. We can double-click on the inclinometer and see exactly which instrument we're looking at. We can also right-click and export the image or save the current state if we want to turn layers off and on. Last, we can export the current inclinometer into Excel or we can export all the inclinometer data and we can generate reports including the site plan. We can export for one inclinometer or for all inclinometers so we can say preview we can drag in data from left to right 
and reports can be exported to PDF and Word. We can see here the direction of the inclinometer showing also the key plan. The key plans are JPEG images, small images, and the raw data that we have selected to plot. SiteMaster is a powerful software for inclinometer data, enabling you to do a lot of things. We're really excited about releasing the 2015 version, and please feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Thank you very much for your attention.